This is Matty Fanimo after Epsilute 2, Slough 2. Full debut today in a competitive game. How did it go for you? Uh, could have been better, obviously, given the result, but I um, was happy to be back out there with the boys. So, yeah, I'd say it was a positive. You had a bit of a full start at the club, didn't you? You, you appeared in the first pre-season friendly. You got yeah. injured and you've had to wait until now to be a part of it. It must be very frustrating for you. Yeah, the start was definitely really frustrating for me, but, um, you know, I've managed to get through it um, in a positive way and I'm obviously back out there playing now, which I'm really happy about. How are you feeling? Are you feeling back on top form or have you got a little way, um, a little way to go? I'm on my way there. Definitely not there now, but, you know, every minute counts, so just going to be building up on that till I get my first 90 minutes, which is hopefully soon. And you had a couple of moments out there today. You, 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 you didn't play the full 90 minutes. That's not to be uh, expected just yet. Yeah. But in the time you were on the pitch, you, you had a couple of moments where you really excited the fans with your electric pace. And that's something they can look forward to, isn't it? Yeah, definitely. And I think given that's my first 45 minutes, I think there's definitely more to come from me. And, and what about... Uh, production at the end of it. I mean, are you going to be uh, flashing the goals in from the edge of the box or uh, is that not your style? <coughs> no, it's definitely my style. Um, we can forget about the two incidents today, so <laughs> definitely next game I should be able to put some in the net. It, it was a, a funny game, I suppose, for the neutrals. It was a good FA Cup tie, you know, there's goals and incidents and all sorts of things, but you know, going behind after a minute, you know, I guess some of the plans go out the window and you have to start again. <clears throat> yeah, it weren't the greatest of starts for us. Um, I mean, they started on the front foot and managed to go a goal up really quickly. Um, and I think the boys did well to kind of turn it around and get one back in the game, especially just after half time, which is a crucial time to get a goal. Um, obviously, we've got the replay now on Tuesday, so hopefully we can put things right and go through to the next round. And, and Slough, were, to, to give them some credit, they were very organised. They played with a bank of five and a bank of four and a man up front trying to do what he could. Uh, but it must be very hard to break down when they're defending so deeply. Yeah, a lot of the time um, uh, teams who are lower than you will kind of just like sit behind the ball and look to counter-attack you, um, which they did on a number of occasions, um, which I think their second goal came from. Um, so, you know, it's hard sometimes because you, because you get impatient because there's so many men behind the ball you want to try and score. But, you know, it's a credit to us, obviously, being able to score two goals from set pieces to kind of keep us in the game. But the goals that you scored, I think there's a, a, a lot of credit, I suppose, must go to uh, their goalkeeper for <laughs> helping the ball on its way. Yeah, definitely. Credit to their goalkeeper for keeping us in the round. <laughs> I mean, it must be a nightmare for the poor young lad. I mean, he, he did his best, but he just couldn't keep the ball out. I mean, he was under pressure and, and it just didn't work out for him, did it? Yeah, definitely. Um, and I think hopefully next round it can be a thing where we can get off a lot more shots on target because obviously that will probably come to our advantage given that he's obviously not very great with his hands, so to speak. Well, maybe maybe I'll have a, 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 a more confidence in his ability to hold on to the ball next time around. But but for you, have you come out of today's game feeling uh, fit and fine and ready to go again, or uh, are there any repercussions from uh, your previous injuries? Um, no repercussions as of yet. Um, just depends how my body reacts, given that this is the first 45 minutes in a while. So you know, um, see how I feel tomorrow, and then so we go again training on Monday. So uh, is the plan to ease yourself back in? With yeah. So the plan is to kind of ease myself back in, get me minutes here and there before a first full 90. So, yeah, we're on course for that. And, and you want to be on, on top of your game because there's a lot of competition for places, isn't it? Uh, yeah. Do you know, uh, I demand high, high standards from myself, so I want to be on top of my game when I play 90 minutes for the club. And uh, that could be soon. So the, the more chances you get to show what you can do, the better to, to get to where you want to be. Yes, exactly. And, and the fans, they, they gave you a warm reception today? Yeah, yeah, it was good. It was good to play in front of the fans, especially playing at home for my first game. It was really enjoyable. There was certainly a buzz when you were on the ball. You know, you, you, it was audible, the, 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 the excitement you created. So I think they can look forward to a lot more of it. Yeah, definitely. Well, welcome to Stanbridge Road and uh, see you again soon. Cheers, thank you very Thanks much.